I'm making a Pokemon horror game. If a Pokemon catches you in this evil forest, you die. For every day it takes me to make the game, I'm doubling the charity donation to the ASPCA to help animals in need. So $1 for one day, $2 for two days, but if it takes me three weeks, I'll be donating over half a million dollars. But hey, no pressure. So first things first, I found this insanely cursed Pikachu model online. Very weird and spooky, and for whatever reason, when I animate it with Mixamo, it loses its eyeballs and they follow Pikachu from behind. I mean, I, I don't blame him for walking like this since he literally can't see, but somehow he's following me even if he does do this cursed kind of exorcist walk. While I fix that, I'll give Pikachu red glowing eyes for maximum spookiness, and use Unity's terrain generator to add a bunch of trees so it could be even scarier when Pikachu chases me in a dense forest where there's nowhere to escape. He's running through trees right now, but if you watch my videos, we know how to fix that. It's my favorite, Unity's AI Nav Mesh. It uses pathfinding so the Pokemon could intelligently learn the terrain and then be really smart and hunt me down in this forest while avoiding obstacles like trees. I think I know what this game needs next. I found the Charmander model, gave him this spooky eye treatment, and now these two horror pals are chasing me in the forest. I should have mentioned it's already day 2, even though I only owe like $2 so far. The numbers double quickly and there's still a lot to do for this game, because right now it's not really a game, it's just creepy Pokemon chasing. Now what about the all-powerful Mewtwo? He's the villain of the first Pokemon movie and he's gonna be bigger and faster and he's gonna do like this drunken run to chase me in the forest. Since it's not really a game yet, I'm gonna add a Pokeball and use ChatGPT to build me a custom shader, so I can catch Pokemon just like the show. Okay, this is like turning evil Pikachu into a pancake, so let's get ChatGPT to make some adjustments, and now it's working pretty well. Even if evil Pikachu Pikachu's trying to skip out of his Pokeball. Of course, I needed to add a way to throw Pokeballs, and I can really show these spooky Pokemon who's boss. It's way too OP to have unlimited Pokeballs, so you start with three of them, and I made these spawning beacons for Pokeballs. When you run out, you have to dash to the nearest one to get another Pokeball. It's only day four right now, so my total tally is $8, which isn't very much. There's still like a nice amount I want to add, and the numbers are gonna start growing a lot faster really soon. I made code changes so that the Pokemon randomly spawn across the map, meaning you need to make sure to have enough Pokeballs to actually catch them. Otherwise, they'll keep spawning, and if they catch you, well, you die. It's honestly really stressful running to find new Pokeballs and trying to avoid all the evil Pokemon coming for you. Okay, but how amazing is this creepy Gengar model? But I mean, like, look at this price. I can't afford that. So I found the free one and added it to the game and gave him the signature red eyes. I also added a Cubone because he's an incredibly cursed Pokemon. Do you know he wears the skull of his dead mother as a helmet? Not even joking, it's right here on Wikipedia. Now that we have a whole undead crew chasing us, I recorded myself doing some spooky voices. And then added this haunted shake effect if any of the evil Pokemon come near you. This game is a good loop now, but there's no way to escape these evil creatures. And I have a great idea that involves adding this rocket model to my game and using ChatGPT to make me this cool rotating image that lets you know you need to catch at least 10 Pokemon to enter the rocket. So basically, you need to avoid evil spawning Pokemon, stock up on Pokeballs, catch at least 10 of them, and then make your way back to the rocket without getting killed so you can escape the haunted forest and win the game. And that's that! The game's done and it took me 6 days to make, which is $32 for charity. But I'll round that up to $50 since it's for a good cause. Anyway, thanks for watching.